Maybe my calculations were wrong and I just didn't make enough uh, motors. All right, I go from 165 to 160. Yeah, it's supposed to use two copper, two, two copper. You see, it's 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 jipping me on the copper. If I do a single electronic, oh, he uses two. That's why. I forgot that electronics were two. That's that's my bad. I'm, I I I derped like I like, like I thought that I might. All right, welcome back everybody to Empyrean Galactic Survival. I'm Know It All DM. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great, hanging out, playing some more Iron Man. So first off, right off the bat. Zero deaths. Just so you guys know, I haven't died. I've killed 129 things and I'm level 20. And uh, yeah, anyway, um, so you may notice that there's a bit of an addition that I added to the base since the last episode. And that's due to the raid on the weapons bunker that we did. And uh, we successfully completed the weapons bunker raid and got some stuff now the first thing you'll notice is that this is expanded out and I've got a repair bay here and up here I've put a repair uh, console so we can actually repair the stuff now I've got it set to help to standby I don't know why but let's uh just repair blocks and keep it on automatic so I can just land on there and repair it and I've done that a few times with my newly upgraded uh, SOV. And uh, I call this the SOV Mark, no, it's supposed to be Mark 7, Mark 8. I don't know why it didn't keep that name. That, grr, why is it not keeping that name? Let's see, V-I-I dash C, there. There, Mark 8C. Now I call it the Mark 8C because there is no Mark 8C. Mark 7C is the highest that it goes. But this has been upgraded more than that with external defenses and a multi-turret. So uh, now if I need to deconstruct, you know, like a base or something, <laughs> weapons bunker, um, I could take this there and utilize this and uh, yeah, take it a lot, apart a lot faster. Uh, it's also got uh, these drill things that I added and it's still got its harvester module. You'll notice the harvester module now goes into the sides there instead of out to here. And the drills make it a lot easier to gather resources. As such, I've gone ahead and gathered up all the iron I possibly can. Now, we have just received word of our next mission for one week from today. Today is, uh, it, for me anyway, today is Wednesday, the day that you guys saw me kill the weapons bunker. And uh, our next mission for this week is the shrine. Now, we got the shrine way out here. It is uh, this direction six kilometers this direction if i go that direction like half a kilometer to the other side of the desert it pops to the other side uh but that's the quickest way right now now the shrine for those of you who don't know is a floating poi and uh we don't have much experience with floating pois however there is somewhere around here on here somewhere I think like over here or there one of these unknown artifacts I think is a floating unknown artifact so we could get a little bit of experience doing that there however I would like to try and see if our 
illustrious uh, uh, benefactors at the uh, Coalition of Humanity, Humanity Coalition Council. What do you call it thing? The uh, UCH, United Council of Humanity. There you go. Uh, if the United Council of Humanity has uh, provided a holodeck program for us because, you know, the holodeck program was really useful in learning the weapons bunker layout, even though the intel was not quite up to date. So uh, let's see if we got anything on the shrine. Uh, computer, generate holodeck program based on weapons bunker simulation utilizing information from the shrine. Unable to comply. Why not? That information is not available. And there you go. So, I guess we can't do a holodeck program. Disappointing as that is, it would be really nice that we could. But, I think before we go after the shrine itself, we want to take a look at these unknown artifacts and uh, see if we can attack them. Now, the reason we're allowed to attack an unknown artifact is because Captain Adonis said so. Um, the floating artifacts are perfectly fine to attack, as are the ground-based ones, from my understanding. I will double-check with him and confer before actually doing it, but I already have a plan on how to assault an aerial POI. Now, I have conferred with the Advanced Reconnaissance Vanguard Headquarters and what they have determined it would be the best course of action is to utilize one of their newest capital vessels. This capital vessel is the ARVSOLP or SOLP. I know I didn't name it, it was named by the Advanced Reconnaissance Vanguard, but the SOLP stands for Suborbital Landing Platform. Now. It's not a landing platform for capital vessels, but rather for small vessels and can accommodate both a Goliath and a Falcon. Now, I think we're still going to utilize the Goliath because it did so well in the first mission, but I want to go ahead and try to see if we can spawn in this next, uh, th this capital vessel. In order to do so, we're going to need a platform of its own to land on. Now, I'm considering what we ought to do is just build this platform out here somewhere um, as part of the base that we are utilizing. Now, I haven't utilized the space out front much and over water would be perfect for this uh, thing. So, what I think I'm going to do, let me see yeah, I can just put it right there. Like, that would be a great uh, height above the water for it. So what I'm going to want to do, let me go ahead. Oh, you may notice I have made some additions to the interior in order to accommodate the loot that we've had. Um, I moved all of my pieces and parts over here. Ooh, sorry, moved all my pieces and parts over here. And uh, I'm going to need more than just that. I think I'm going to use steel as the struts and, uh, come on, and use concrete as the base. Now, this thing, if my calculations are correct, is going to be like a 9 by 17 or an 8, eight by like 17 or something like that. So I figured, you know, that'll be fine. Uh, yeah, 8 by 17. That, that's what it is. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's see if I've got 100 pieces. That's going to be not quite enough, but we'll figure it out as we go. So let's go ahead and come out here. I don't want to go too far. Um, let's go ahead and just start it by right here. Now I'm going to try to make it 17 long. That's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 11. Why are you down there? No. No, I don't need you over here. Well, I mean, I'll eventually use you up there. No, give me this back. I don't need this. Um, I got this tier 2 uh, multi-tool in the raid. So, 
12, 13, 14, 15. And then for the edges, I want to go ahead and round it off uh, like so. Okay, so this is one. What I'm going to need is I'm going to need seven more. Um, so this is going to be... I guess I'll go ahead and do it over there since that's what it wanted to do. This is going to make three. Why are you down there? No. Give me that back. If you're going to be down there, utilize this and do that. You don't need that, but you know, whatever. All right. So now we've got a three wide we're going to need a total of eight wide uh let's go ahead let's see what we got over here so that's going to be three four five six seven eight so this is going to be where we are going to put that let's get back up here and put this there and then over here this is four five six you disappeared six seven right here eight okay and then you're gonna be right like that okay now I should be able to bring this out to here and then this out to there something collapsed I don't like it when things collapse why did you collapse you've got dirt right there hey anyway let's go make up a few more concrete blocks we got plenty of dirt uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna say make up 50 I'm probably not gonna need 50 once it gets to about 20 we'll go ahead and grab it and I uh, and then add that onto the thing let's check the structural integrity structural integrity on it ought to be okay yeah structural integrity is fine you should not have collapsed I don't know why it did if it did if that's what collapsed I don't know but then we're going to need to connect from there to this corner and then that line and we're going to be done. So that's probably going to be about 20 blocks, maybe a bit less. Um, all right, let me just take 14. We'll see if 14 works. Uh, let's go ahead and deactivate that. We don't need that. Okay. So we should be able to do this to here. Ah, uh, we're gonna need more. What, that was, grr, that's, that's not good. My calculations were wrong. My random guess was wrong. Okay, let's throw 14 more on there. See how much this can do. Uh, let's see. From there to there. That's not bad. We've got about, what, seven, eight more maybe. And then the two on the other side. So we'll need about 10 more. It should be in there already. Okay, and we've got more making up in case we need them. I don't think we will, but we're probably going to because this is my calculations. So, uh, you from here to there, over there, and we should have, yeah, I, uh, like that. And then let's just go ahead and if we're going to come out from here and go straight to here, I'll start by putting this here so we can just fill that in. And 
and 12 more. Not that I need 12, but 12 will work. Okay, and we can go from there to there, no problem. Now we've got a thing to go out. We can put you there, and then we're good. I don't need to put this down any, do I? Nah. Okay, so I had to dig here just a little bit so I could get out of here when I first put the thing down. So now that we have this, the most important thing for us to do is to texture it. Now, the textures on the bottom, I believe, are going to be... Now, this is just going around doing the entire exterior here. Actually, yeah, entire... I'm going to do the entire thing. And then I'm going to redo the entire top surface, so, you know... Yay for double work. But I'm doing this so that the bottoms will also do it because I have it so that the uh, entire block gets made into this. And so I don't have to worry about uh, about the bottoms because the bottoms are getting done as well as I do this. Okay, we're almost done. There we go. Now the top... I'm going to put the top as this because that's what I really want the top to be. And here we go. Okay, now we are good. Now this, this is going to be that and the sides are going to be that. Uh, where's the, that? Ah. What? There. Okay. So now we have our landing platform. Now, in order to spawn this, we're going to need a lot of stuff. Um, let's throw you in the factory. We're going to need uh, 714 iron. We've got some neodymium in there. We should, we're only going to need like 300 more neodymium. We've got that. Um, let's see. We're going to need 310 more. Uh, let's go ahead and get the neodymium going. So oscillators require five neodymium which means to get 310 we've got 10 right here we need 300 more 300 more is a hundred and 50 I'm getting hungry good thing I went out and hunted a bit <sighs> see I've decided not to do a garden in Iron Man because first of all I don't really need to it seems I can get enough food just by going out, killing some stuff. I mean, after all, that's the whole point of Iron Man, to kill things. Uh, well, okay, I guess it's to not die, but I'm also killing things. Um, but I mean, and a garden, a garden is good if you're doing a long-term game. Don't get me wrong, a garden would be great, but this isn't a long-term thing, it's just a month. So I figure it'll be done, you know, soon enough so anyway so we're going to be doing 152 well no I'm doing way too much I was just doubling it instead of five times in it um hold on brain I need a hundred and a hundred and crap I need three hundred and ten so there's 10 
300 divided by 5 is uh, 60, right? Right. So there we go. We got 60 making up. <laughs> huh. So that's just going to give us 122 cobalt and sathium. Uh, cobalt, I'll be really close. Sathium, um, I don't know if I've got enough sathium left here, but I do have a whole lot of combat steel and hardened steel that we uh, acquired from the Xerax at their weapon bunker. Okay, so I stole it from the Xerax, so sue me. I killed them first. Wow, that sounded really bad. Um, so anyway, um, I've also got shotgun upgrade kit and rifle upgrade kits here that I can take, make, make use of. Um, and I got this, uh, enhanced pulse rifle here. Now, a rifle upgrade kit, I think, you see, that would be a laser upgrade kit going from laser rifle to an enhanced laser rifle. And I can't do that yet. Assault rifle tier two, I could make into a, uh... Uh, enhanced, but I think what I want to do enhanced sniper rifle now once I get all this done I don't know if I'm going to have enough stuff to make a tier 2 sniper or an enhanced sniper let's see the enhanced sniper, what would I be missing this, it's a sniper upgrade kit, okay not a rifle upgrade kit, a sniper upgrade kit which is totally different now um which means that to upgrade the rifle I, I could just upgrade this that's it uh or i mean i, I, I could make another enhanced pulse rope, but i don't need that um so let's compare uh magazine 50 400 rpms 80 damage magazine 50, 600 AP RPMs, 730, or 73. The pulse rifle does by far more damage per second than the rifle. So why would I take an, I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so I like my pulse rifle. It does damage quickly. I may have to reload more often, but that's okay. All right, we've got 62 oscillators. So let's take this out. Put the 62 oscillators in and see what what larger thing we can make that requires oscillator, preferably full components. Um, let's see what requires an oscillator. Probably capital vessel parts. Now let's see what capital vessel parts require an oscillator. These and these. So RCS rusters, medium thrusters. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and say, make up, why can I not with these? I need flux coils, which require sathium. Darn it. Which means I can't make the things I want to make. Because the things I want to make cannot be made, but I can do these. So if I just do all RCSs out of 62, it uses four which means I'm going to be using 15 and have two left over, which is fine. There, so that's 6, 12, 13, 14, 15. That should use 60 oscillators and have two left over. So we're going to wait a little bit and then sleep and see how many it uses.
All right, let's go ahead. And good morning, everybody. It's made up all of them, and we've got two left. It used exactly what we were hoping for. So, now that we've got those. Bam. Bada bomb. Bada bum bum. Well, that's the cobalt we need. Neodymium. All right, so we don't need any more cobalt. We don't need any more neodymium. We need sathium, silicon, and copper. Let's go ahead and try to get the sathium we need with these. So it uses four each time. There we go. We got the sathium we needed. I know I put a few extras in there, but whatever. So we've got neodymium, sathium, and cobalt. Now we just need iron, silicon, and copper. Iron, silicon, and copper are all used in these. So let's go ahead. Let's see. Uh, it uses one electronics, which is the copper, and silicon, which is what we're going to go by. Copper. It uses two. We're going to need uh, math. Less than 100. Let's say we're going to need 40, which is going to make 80 copper, 40 silicon, and, and, and I don't know how much iron. Um, we're going to need more silicon. That's for sure. Um, Okay, so I'm going to need, actually, make it 81. Okay, so that should give me exactly the copper I need. And I'm going to need some silicon left over. So if I add 81 onto, or 41 onto 145, that's 186. 186 is 61 away from what we need. So in addition to that... Let's make up. This uses five glass plates each. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 60. So that's going to be 60 right there. I'm going to need one additional glass plate. I'll probably have some left over. So once those and those are done, the only things we should have left that we need is going to be iron. So I'm going to wait a bit until all these are made up and we'll see if my calculations are correct or if I completely derped. All right, so I decided that while I'm waiting, I'm going to come over to this Promethium deposit and see if I can mine it out. Now, I've got my ore scanner, so I should be able to see the ore rocks. Yeah, there's one. And we should be able to take these out no problem with my hover vessel. The hover vessel works really well on uh, the voxel based ores and it works okay on these as well. It's a little more difficult on these unless you, or because if you just lock your thing, you can't really aim proper, but I've got it aimed towards one thing right now, so we should be okay with that one. All right, there's an ore right there. We went ahead and got that. Okay. Uh, go ahead and, oh, come on. There. It's a bit difficult because the, uh, 
the lasers on this don't work like weapons and aim towards the thing. So we have to actually get it so till the laser portion Let's just do it from here. Let's not do it from here. Okay. There we go. Let's see if we can hit it from here. Can't even really see it. But it's there. It's there, all right. There we go. We went ahead and got it. Okay. There's still some more ore somewhere. I don't know where. The voxel based was really easy to get. Okay, let's turn around and see if we can get out from here. Come on. I even tried using the booster. Why did you not work? And there it goes. Okay. Let's see. There's got to be one more ore somewhere at least. All right, let's just. Come on, not get. Okay. Drone. There's got to be more ore. Oh, I don't have my drill. <laughs> drill! There we are. Down that direction, right behind there. I think that'll be it. So let's go ahead, get in here. Turn around, and it should be... Yeah! down that way now I'm gonna want shift O and there we go hopefully that will get the ore that we need without me having to move much Okay, now we should be aiming straight for it. There's one. I think there's another one a little bit further. Yeah. There you are. Okay. Now, was that all of it? Let's make a little side path up this direction. I should be able to jump out now, but there we go. And is the deposit gone? The deposit is gone. Yeah. All right, let's head back to base and uh, see if our uh, things are all made up. All right. 
There we go. And let's just uh, come over here. Get Prometheum. Yeah. Not quite complete, but let's see if my motor calculations were correct. So, copper. Nowhere near my pl my, my plans. I put 41 in there. Should have made 80. Why did it not? It only did 40 copper? That doesn't make any sense. All right, let's try one of these and see what it does. You see, I think it did the right amount of silicon. But I, 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 I don't know. Oi. All right, so with the window blocks, put that in. Maybe my calculations were wrong and I just didn't make enough uh, motors. All right, I go from 165 to 160. Yeah, it's supposed to use two copper, two, two copper. You see, it's 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 jipping me on the copper. If I do a single electronic, oh, he uses two. That's why. I forgot that electronics were two. That's that's my bad. I'm, I I I derped like I, like, like I thought that I might. Um. Okay. Ugh. How many more motors do I need to make? Tell you what, instead of just doing motors this time, doing doing just motors now, I guess, let's, let's do something that can really add to the thing. Um, I don't know what to do. All of these will be, I don't know. I'll just end up throwing it in there and waiting probably. Um, every time I do those, it takes like forever. So, um, Let's just go ahead and recalculate the motors we need. It uses one electronics, which is one copper. A one to one ratio with copper, and one to a half ratio with those. So motors, I'm gonna need 40. I've got 13, 14, 24, 30. All right. 40 motors. Okay. Exactly the copper we need. Not quite the silicon we need. Apparently my calculations on my other silicon is not good either. Um, I need 11. So, how about 10? 11. And let's go ahead and make that into that. All right, so we've got this and that. Perfect. Now, steel blocks. Steel blocks we're going to need uh, more than that. Uh, let's see. Each steel block is two iron ingots. Eat, I need 400. Three hundred and sixty. 363 so I really need 150 
Let's see, 63 would be 30 more and one. So we'll see how that works out. And uh, no, not that I need. Yeah, I need something that uses five. And we'll just see what we got and see what that brings our time to and then wait out the rest of the time. All right, we got the 181 steel blocks. Which is more than enough, way more than enough. My math is always wrong. All right, so now that we've got that, we've got a 42 minute waiting time, yay! Um, I probably shouldn't have just slept. I did, but I guess we'll wait until the, uh, next night and then, uh, sleep again because sleeping does advance this. So, uh, yeah, I'll wait for that to, uh, spawn up and probably go out and get some food and then I'll be back. All right. We got the blueprint ready after sleeping. So let's see if we can spawn it in here. Now, I'll need to be heading almost perfectly this direction, probably. Let's just do that. Spawn. Now, let's see if we can. I might need to make the thing just a little bigger or angle just a little better. I think I'm going to have to make it one wider probably. Ah, there we go. Haha, -ha, and we have it spawned and I can pick these up. I might not have needed these, but there we go. So now we've got our mobile landing platform spawned. Now the thing is, it's going to definitely need Promethium fuel, which is one reason why I went ahead and got all the Promethium that I got earlier, but we've got a decent amount of fuel in here already. So let's go ahead, power it up, and I will give you a tour of our uh, suborbital landing platform. All right, fuel tank, fueled up, ready to go. All right, so over here, we've got the Goliath landing, landing area. Over here, we've got a Falcon slash Eagle slash Dromedary landing thing. And we've got plenty of cargo space for whatever we may decide to loot, plus a refrigerator and armor locker in case we need them. Up here, we've got the pilot seat and the other pilot seat so that you can just go either direction. Um, out here, We've got the ramp that leads out to the uh, Goliath so that once you park here, you can actually walk out and get in. Now, I still haven't figured out how I'm going to get it to close this once you're in, but you could probably, you could always just hover over there and it's probably what I'll end up doing. But, uh, uh, yeah, and of course, as you saw, it's got this ramp that'll allow you to let come on down here and up, and then what, when you retract it, these doors close so that you can walk across here. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and get this, uh, filled up with uh, what we need. Let's see, let's see. Flight systems are off, which is good, which means thrusters should be off. 
It doesn't look like the thrusters and stuff is geared to flight systems. Okay. RCS, flight systems, deactivated. Thrusters, all of these are flight systems. I don't know why they weren't geared to this, but they are now. So now we've got on, off. So it uses a lot less fuel when it's off. And there is our suborbital landing platform made for in atmospheric flight and hover in order to act as a mobile raid base. So uh, I'm going to get that filled up, but I'll do that off camera, like ready to go. And uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope everybody enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more Imperion Galactic Survival, go ahead and subscribe. I'm Know It All again. And as always, y'all have a good day now.